Um, in this video, I'm just going to show how to um, use a set of strainers um, and then, act, and, and then um, show how to add an extra chain if you run out of chain as you're straining. Um, sometimes happens in certain spots where you might have stretched the wire a couple of times and you've got it quite loose and you just need an extra chain to grab an extra little bit of fetch. Um, so all strainers are pretty well the same. They're quite an ugly old board looking thing. Um, this piece here opens and closes as the as the tension goes on them. The, this cams over and holds the wire. Um, so if you get in close there, you'll you'll see the wire sits through this opening, and then as as we pull it, this cams around and squashes that wire. I always give them a little pull, and that pretty well <coughs> locks them onto there. Um, for for this little video, I'll just use just the short short um, strain for this section. Um, the same with this. This other end has got the same type of setup. Usually, you would run it out the full length of the chain, so you would hook the you would hook the handle part on. I would usually go two or three links away from the end chain, hook it into there, and then I would run the chain out its full length. Um, but then we're not going to be able to add a chain if I do that. So for this demonstration, we'll just put the strainer on short. It's not staying on very well. Handle back on. And then the chain hooks into these hooks um, that are made the right size for the actual chain link. And then this handle is the thing that strains. So you, you walk your strainers up. Uh, that grabs and then you push the opposite direction which loosens this one makes it come off and it basically just walks up the chain as you go and as you can see the wires coming up as we're getting the wire tighter and tighter and we ended up with slack here now this is where you would usually cut the wire if you're straining an old fence you would cut the wire and do your knot um, but we're not going to bother cutting the wire for this one now I'm nearly out of chain say this wire is still loose um, and I'm nearly out of chain. Um, if you do have a second set of strainers, um, a quick way of putting, a quick way of getting out of loosening your wire again because you've just got it nearly tight, is to add a second chain, um, which you need a second set of strainers for. So you put your second chain on, and you would reverse this here. So reverse our last move, which disconnects that, which lets the chain go sloppy a little bit and you would pick a spot on the chain and clip our second chain into the tooth that you've just undone. Now if we walk it forward again, tighten it up, it will let that first chain loose and we can take it off and we can continue walking up that chain with your second chain. It can be really handy, we use it now and again on the job just to save having to take your strainers off and loosen what you've already got tight. You can just keep progressing and tightening up even more and more. So that's basically how you use strainers. If you're going to back the wire off, um, it's basically just the opposite. You pull your handle backwards, which loosens your furthest one, and you walk it back down the chain to release the tension on your wire. And then unhook it once your tension's off. And then they just push away. So that's basically how a set of strainers work.